Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Geeks 2 and today guys, welcome back to another episode of Conspiracy Theories with I. That's right. Alright. <sighs> welcome back. It's been a little bit since we've done a Conspiracy Theory. Um, exactly two weeks, so two weeks. It's not that bad. Now, it's not, it could have been worse, right? So quit, quit your bitch. I'm just kidding. Um, I know the last couple weeks I've been doing a couple Horror Stew videos. Honestly, there's just some great horror releases and I had to talk about them. I would say that these are movies that are pretty near and dear to my heart in a way. Um, Halloween is one of those movies that I just, I love, love Halloween. Um, so Halloween Ends was a no-brainer for me. Same thing with Terrifier 2. Like, oh my god, I love Terrifier, love the series. Anything with Art the Clown, I am an Art the Clown stan. I'm gonna have to get t-shirts made up about that or something, make my own t-shirt or some shit. But, um, yeah. Oh Lord. Anyhow, so a little update about me before we get started today. Um, as I mentioned many times, I live in Florida, uh, but recently a fucking cold front has moved through and it's been like cold here, like thirties and forties. And like, here's the deal. I know some, somebody, I don't, I don't know if anybody will, I don't know if enough people watch this to get this demographic, but I'm sure somebody's going to be like, Oh, if you, if you think that's cold, well come on over to Nebraska or, uh, Wyoming. And here's what I got to say to you. Wyoming's not real, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kidding. Wyoming's real. That's not a true conspiracy theory. I've been to Wyoming. My wife is from Wyoming. Well, not from, but she was lived there for a while. Anyways, uh, <laughs> it's just been cold, abnormally cold. Like, I've been having to wear pants and sweatshirt kind of cold. And uh, I lived in Indiana for, you know, 26 years of my life. So I, I think I know a little bit about the cold. Anyhow. So here we are. Uh, we're going to do a go ahead and jump into our theory today. Uh, you're probably looking at the title of this video and you're probably thinking to yourself, um, what the actual fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? But I guess we got to talk about how uh, Bigfoot somehow fits into a certain religious belief. So with most of my videos, I do have to give you a little bit of context. Um, and actually... Let me adjust this camera just a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's better. And probably nothing changed. It just seemed like it was a little crooked. Anyhow, so for the context of this video, um, I guess you got to know what religion I'm about to talk about and what religion talks about Bigfoot. And uh, to absolutely nobody's surprise, it's the Mormons. Um, <laughs> so again, no one's surprised. The Mormons have a lot of hot takes. Um, more so than most religions, I would say. Um, you might be asking yourself again, you know, what does Bigfoot have to do with Mormonism? To which I would say, um, it's, it, it's more than nothing. What's that TikTok sound? Um, if I had a nickel for every time that I had to talk about, uh, Mormons, uh, Bigfoot being somehow related, I'd only have one nickel, but it's weird how it happened, right? Um, I don't know what the, I think the TikTok sound is a little bit different, but you know, but, but we got to talk about this. So I have to tell you two things first. Um, and, and unfortunately these are things that I have to explain to you. So the first is that, uh, Cain is a person, right? Uh, Cain and Abel, we've actually talked about Cain before on the channel, um, with the serpent seed doctrine, um, which is a horrible doctrine just to begin with. It's a horrible topic to talk about. It's very, very racist. Uh, a lot of cysts that would apply to that uh, conversation. And um, yeah, but Cain, uh, as we have talked about before, um, there's the story of Cain and Abel. Cain killed Abel and he was cursed on one of the earth for eternity, leading lots of folks to think that he's still alive. A lot of folks believe that in uh, the abrahamic religion um especially people who you know do take genesis perhaps a little more literally i don't know if you heard that but someone's fucking speeding around in front of my house and they stop I don't know, do they not know that i'm recording a video anyways second of all that in mormon history there is a person by the name of spencer w campbell who was the 12th president of the church of latter-day saints who in his book miracle of forgiveness records an account claiming that apostle david w Patton met a very large hairy man who identified himself as Cain during a uh, certain mule ride that he was on. So, before I go completely insane, you absolutely heard that right. Fucking conspiracy confirmed, Bigfoot is real. And not only is he real, he is actually Cain from the book of Genesis. 
So you thought that was it. You thought it was over. You, you actually, you actual fool. You absolute fool. <laughs> you fool. So this story only gets worse. All right, and, and I mean, it gets, it gets significantly worse. So in the Mormon faith, it has become folklore that appearances of Cain um, can be ex can explain the myth of Bigfoot, right? Basically, anytime that Bigfoot's seen, uh, maybe not the one on Mars, right? There's that <laughs> video of like an alien on Mars that looks like Bigfoot or whatever. Um, maybe not that one, but every other uh, event or claim of Bigfoot can be explained by it's Cain. He wanders the earth. He has the mark of Cain. He looks different than other people. Um, so, but it isn't uncommon that a religion might try and explain away the paranormal. Um, a lot of religious entities do that. A lot of, you know, major, I would say mainstream religions try and explain away um, supernatural or extraordinary things that uh, maybe don't fit into their narrative. So, and it's not an un unfamiliar territory for them. Um, <laughs> but uh, here's the kicker. Um, the roots of this belief uh, root back to a old belief in the LDS, which is the Latter-day Saints, which was that the curse of Cain or the curse of Ham kind of has something to do with this, right? So obviously the curse of Cain or the mark of Cain um, referred to a curse placed upon uh, Cain after he murdered Abel, so he would wander the earth and so on. So a lot of people think that there were a number of things that happened to him that m make him look different, right? So there's a literal belief of a literal meaning to the mark of Cain rather than he's just a marked man as in people will always know him type thing, which is what I kind of thought it meant, right? When I read the Bible years ago is that people will just know who he was, but people think that it could be an actual mark. And some people, AKA early Mormons, uh, believe that dark skin was the mark of Cain. And subsequently the curse of Ham was that those with dark skin would be a servant of servants, which is often misconstrued as slavery. Um, now, obviously the curse of Cain and the curse of Ham or the mark of Cain, whichever one you want to refer to, these are completely separate instances of curses slash problems in the Bible, right? They're different stories, um, not necessarily directly intertwined in any way. And uh, clearly the early Mormon church was just somehow more batshit crazy than they are now. No offense to any current Mormon beliefs, but I'm sorry. Some of the shit that you guys believe in is a little out there. And I'm not saying that in a mean way, but I think that it's kind of just known that the LDS church is not exactly great. Um, even more so than other religions. And I really don't want to upset anybody, but come on, this is, this is pretty crazy. Now, um, that being saying, uh, the, the sort of TLDR of this entire theory is that Cain was marked with dark skin and also potentially hair, um, which obviously means that black people are descendant from Cain, right? Um, which obviously carries a slew of implications that I cannot begin to fathom, including that of the serpent seed doctrine. But beyond that fucked up statement, Cain is now also uh, resembling of a cryptid. Um, and based on the supposed uh, first-hand accounts from an apostle. Uh, so not only is this racist, it is also absolutely butt-fucking insane. 100% butt-fucking insane. So this is one of the more re ridiculous religious theories that I've ever heard to talk about um, and the displeasure of having to research. Uh, but it's all come up on TikTok, uh, not once, but twice, from two separate accounts, two separate people who were both ex-Mormons. And I laugh, but it's actually bewildering to think that people used to believe this. And I mean, hell, people probably still do. And I still, I will say that all the racist shit about Ham and Cain is not exclusive to Mormonism. Uh, but to my knowledge, Mormonism is the only one that does the theological gymnastics to make a connection to a mythological creature of some kind. But, you know, moving on from all of that, um, it, it is what it is, man. It, it is what it is. I, I can't begin to fathom how weird uh some religions are and, and here's the deal like i said i i want to i probably should have prefaced all of this with a statement like this but i'm gonna go ahead and say it now i don't hate people who believe in religion or i don't hate people who are mormon but i do hate the the harm that it causes people and there is an inherent harm that we can see generationally with some of the more extreme mormon beliefs 
And it's no mystery that, you know, the Church of Latter-day Saints is widely criticized. And not to say that I want to jump on that bandwagon, but I think that it's a very valid criticism that a lot of people don't really understand. And I'm not personally Mormon. I've never been Mormon. And I've known very few Mormon people in my life. Um, but the ones that I did know in college especially, they were especially confused by the rest of the world. And not to say that they were just ignorant, but I think it's partially on their upbringing because they have this very closed-minded view of the world. They get out into the world and a lot of those beliefs are shaken, um, which is why a lot of these people, you know, leave the faith and it's unfortunate that the, if you leave the faith then you get like excommunicated there's like a whole thing i mean there's all kinds of people that talk about this but i feel like it's kind of not like not wildly talked about but you know this is just one of many beliefs that the mormon faith has or does believe and obviously there is a level of folklore that goes into this right not necessarily that you know bigfoot is cain but it's kind of like a, a, an urban legend if you will within the mormon community but the the you know the roots of that uh, belief or that folklore or that urban legend are incredibly problematic, as you can clearly see. So there we go. Hopefully, I didn't piss off too many people. Um, if you are Church of Latter Day Saint and you are a good person, I'm sorry if this is in any way, shape, or form hurtful to you. But it's important to talk about, um, especially since that I'm kind of taking an adventure into some of the more obscure belief systems of different religions, and not you know not limited to that of Bigfoot being Cain. Um, so there you go. Like I said, I laugh about it, but this is honestly a very, very fucked up thought process. And there are people who probably believe this. It is what it is. Anyhow, I'm going to close out of this because I don't know how much more I can talk about this really just off the wall thought process. But um, if you will, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment down below if you have any, uh, you know, things that you want me to cover, other theories, movies, whatever the case may be. You know, what do you want me to talk about in my next video? Because I like to take your guys' ideas and thoughts. And so that way I can kind of formulate some information for you because it's the kind of person I am. So let me know what you want to see next time in the comment section down below. Also, check out the Listen to Their Screams podcast. Uh, we put up a podcast every week on Thursday, typically in the morning. My co, the host, I'm the co-host. My host, uh, if you will, Dave Dynasty, typically gets it up pretty early in the morning. Um, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. It's easy listening. It's usually about an hour long. And we just talk about horror movies that we've watched recently. And every week we focus in on one movie. So last week uh, we talked about Halloween Ends, which is why I put up a video on Friday about Halloween Ends. And this week we're talking about Trick or Treat or Trick or Treat. Um, it's a wonderful anthology and uh, check it out. So find us anywhere at listen to screams or the links down below. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay happy and stay healthy. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.